Hey there. I did my first video a few days ago when I showed you my little studio where I, where, where I work every day on my music, on my music projects and uh, on film music. And uh, you asked me if I can show you my my logic pro uh, and how i work with logic pro and which plugins i use etc etc so i tried to set up this microphone today i don't want to be a youtuber i prefer to write the diaries which are on my substack davidcollarsubstack.com i also write in slovak language it's davidcollardiary.com and uh, i'm also not the best video guy i just want to make deep music with all my colleagues ex Aro Henriksen, Pat Mastelotto, Eric Trufas, Rick Cox and uh, Paolo Raineri and Gergo Borlai, Lorenzo Feliciati etc etc we have so many projects every project is completely different different style of music and uh, yeah so today I want to show you what I am working on now these days uh, I will make music uh, for the movie, I cannot talk about this movie not yet because, uh, yeah, they are shooting it. And uh, so what can I do? I try to do every day little music sketch and, uh, and uh, I call it music diary. So I can show you my Logic Pro. Here is something. I can show you plugins which I use for this movie. Yeah, here is something. Uh, yeah, I try to make a diary every day to keep some sounds and ideas in my computer. And later, when I will have a meeting with director, I can show them to him and we can discuss. And possibly we will throw them to the trash or I will use them and I will build a wall film music from the sounds. Let's see. And some of them are mock-ups like cellos and voices which you will hear in this project. So I'm just trying to spend time working on the film. Yeah, so okay, so I have something here. This is some kind of uh, Speedfire Audio cassette synth. And I, I did this track in D because later I want to record guitar because I will use a lot of guitars in this film and my guitar is dropped in D. We have another one like this. This is something like Yocto. And this is Phobos. I, I love this one. There are some really cool rhythms. Here. Yeah, we have Phobos in the very beginning. Phobos there. Here is Phobos again. What is this? Yeah, this is cello. Cello. Yeah, I love this one. What is this? Cello mood by Speedfire Audio. Yeah. I like Hort Trigger. This is one of my favorite plugins. Yeah. Because, you know, if you know musical theory, even if you don't know, it can push you somewhere. You, you know, you can be in scale or in key or you can play the basic chords. But here, when I use, for example, this SAS 479 chord, I can, I can put this on piano. I have piano somewhere here. Yeah, check this out. When I use this chord here, you know, I, I like it. There it is. So by incident, you can play strange chords and sometimes you can find something really interesting. Minor. Sus. Four, yeah, this one. You can make... A samples of this i like to use horse like this with horse trigger and i just go here and there in d minor scale and
and then I cut samples and I use them in my Ab Ableton Live with some stutter, you know, and it, it can be a really powerful thing. Yeah, so let's go back. Uh, I had, where was the Chelly? Yeah, now we have Chelly with SAS 479. Let's use SAS 2 for cello. SAS 2, yeah. SAS with SAS 4. Yeah, there are some cello movements, and uh, when you play chord, SAS 4, and also when I play G minor. example yeah what else what else do we have here in my music diary yeah this is synth i have uh, something like uh, yeah i have some factory uh factory master here oh, because when i want to hear it loud in my iphone there is some kind of synth this is another one from Spitfire Audio. Maybe I can endorse this company. Yeah, sometimes I love also this this what this distortion. It's with Valha. Yeah, I like the ending. It's like it's crashed. And what about Valhalla here? Black Hole. This is really powerful plugin. It's free. Maybe I must change this too. Valhalla, go to the end. Yeah. From bright to dark. Yeah, it can be. Who knows? This is muted. Oh, no. Yeah, I want to use a uh, choral. And uh, this one oh. is uh, very weak. Yeah. So, uh, uh. That's why I use Arpeggiator to give it more power. I'm a big fan of uh, Steve Reich, Philip Glass, uh, Terry Riley. You know Robert Fribe on guitar with the rhythm minimalism technique, and I I like to use these plugins a lot. Plugin a lot. This is in seven, so we have song in four. This is is in seven. Let's go back to 7, to 18. Yeah, I think I have more tricks. Oh, what is this? This is something with... Mm, it's mm, with guitar rig. How this can sound with arpeggiator? It's too fast. Oh, I don't like this. Maybe that's why I used guitar rig here. <laughs> Okay. Maybe we 
with this one. This is guitar, yeah. I really love guitar rig and especially my friend Christian Fenes presets because they are really badass. Here we have a freeze. This one I use a lot on my albums. Here's another one. Typical Christian tennis sound. Let's put some reverb there. Valhalla Shimmer, Big Rivers. And of course, dark. This is the last one. Yeah, I call it, I call this living effect because there is still life when you play. Another vocal with, I think there here is different RPG, this different setup uh, of RPG Aether. Yeah. Ah, this is weird sound. I love weird sound. 
amplify cello EO. Spitfire Audio. Yeah, these guys should uh, endorse me. What do you think? Yeah, we have SAS2 chords. SAS2 intervals there. And uh, check this out. If I play MIDI and Do you hear it? This is really weird one. Yeah, all these notes with the sus, sus too. Sus two. Sus four. Yeah, what else? Yeah, piano. I think it's, yeah, it's as four, seven, nine. I love this chord. Yeah, I have a. I have an Onroku. I am a big fan of Gustavo Santa Olala. I was looking for this instrument since 2010. And finally I found one, but this is Onroku Bolivia. And I think Gustavo has Onroku Argentina. But this one is really bad. You can see this during the night the string is broken. And it's still out of tune. So I found a sample of Harango, and it's it's very close to to Ron Rocco. I have it here. And look if I use arpeggiator on that again. And chord trigger, chord trigger with perfect fit. <laughs> Little Valhalla. I love arpeggiator and chord trigger, I must say. This is another one. Yeah, so let's, I can show you what I did uh, as a short audio, short audio uh, diary. There are some fans here. And I can play over it with Christian Fenes preset.
let's go to this part. Okay, I'll try to record guitar here. because I use some master plugins. I think it can has a more Karango arpeggiator. Oh, sorry. Where is Karango? can go earlier yeah somewhere here let's check out this part okay what if I go here this bar 14 let's go here Yeah, I had the chord trigger in the end of the very end of the piano. I, th I think I played C. To get out of the key. Yeah. Let's go here. Can you be more powerful? Guitar needs some automatization here. Oh. Yeah, these vocals are really artificial, but I tried arpeggiator to to build a, like uh, to have an idea how it can sounds with uh, vocals. I think later we can record a real whore.
Yeah, it also sounds good without vocals. And piano in the end. Let's work a little bit on this bit here. What if I use guitar rig? Guitar rig, input source, drums. Yeah, this is not bad. Ah! What if I use movement? Yeah, it can be everything. Uh, this is how I work. Uh, every day with the sounds for the film. When I work on my own records, it's a it's a different process. I use Ableton Live program, and uh, also it's co it's completely different when I prepare myself to play live with my trio or with Arve Hendrickson. It's these are two completely different groups. My trio with Lorenzo Feliciati and Gergo Borlai, excellent drummer, and uh, or Arve Hendrickson, Norwegian trumpet player. So everything is different. So I still try to find a new concept how to work on on each project. So this is how I work on music diaries or mock-ups of real music, which I will use for the next movie. So yeah, you can hear I use some voice, vocals, I use some arpeggiators, chord triggers, some synths, and the guitar. Maybe guitar was too much for this, but you know, you never know. I love guitar. So thank you for watching, and uh, if you want, you can read my diaries. I'm a much better writer than make video like this. So. Thank you very much. I hope you can go deeply to my music when you see how I work. So this is first video. Maybe I will make more. Who knows? Thank you. Ciao, ciao.